Good evening, chat. Hello, hello there. Welcome, welcome to the ETF to All Nations Cup. It's the tenth iteration of the six v six variant of it. Can you believe it? We've done ten of these. Well, we are on the tenth one, I suppose. Tonight it is uh, the first round of the group stages, and we are going to be looking at a match between Russia and Romania. The latter, well, the former, technically on the records, but whatever. Romania. Playing for national pride after they got kicked out of the Euro Cup yesterday. Yeah, I have to bring that up because I think it's funny. Uh, so they get to redeem themselves tonight, potentially against the Russian squad. Anyway, before I get ahead of myself, hi, I'm Cerny, joined by Domato on the microphone and John on production. How you doing, man? How you doing? How's it going? Buenas Sara and Dobre Vecha. I'm very, very happy to kick off this wonderful night with uh, the Nations Cup starting, as you already briefly introduced it to us also riding along the lines of that uh, euro cup storyline it was against the netherlands that's sort of a different team yeah. also three zero for everyone watching so it is sort of a time capsule that we're offering here so if you want to watch that in a 10 um you know 10 year span and you think oh well tf2 is done for in 10 years anyway i thought that 10 years ago but you know you never know so you yeah. can rewatch that and then you can see that we're still here we're still kicking and i'm uh, very happy um to be alongside with you uh, we are into group d currently on the round one it will be three rounds or three round stages that we're playing in this nation's cup and then afterwards followed by a three days playoff stage uh, for the storylines of those teams i can get into more detail in a bit but uh, we are waiting on sweet time currently for players to get into positions um if you watch on your screen you can already see that we're playing process and to end my monologue i will just quickly say that romania banned sunshine which is sort of emo if you really think about it. Uh, Russia then banned product. Romania pick process and therefore due to elimination, Gallywash is the secondary map. Enough babbling from me. What is your prediction for this one? You see, that's a, that's a, that's a curious one, getting into the, the meat of things right now. Because like, this is the interesting thing with the Nations Cups, right? If you're someone like me who mostly only watches high divs, right? You watch Prem, you maybe watch a little bit or follow a little bit along with Div 1. Uh, you only really know the top toppest tier of players that consistently appear in those divisions, right? So I recognize some of the names on both of these teams here, but I also don't recognize a lot of these players. And that's what the Nations Cup always does, right? It allows uh, some, some lesser talents, perhaps, from, from countries to spring forth and uh, see how much they synergize with their, their countrymen. And having to go just off of the names I recognize, I, I genuinely think the, the Romanian squad might have an edge here. Like, there's, I know a lot of Russian players, and none of the ones I know are currently on this Russian squad. So I don't know what to expect from them. They could be very good. They, obviously, I could just be underselling them right now. But at least looking at the initial rosters, what we have in the server right now, there's a chance that that Romanian squad has an edge here. But who knows? Maybe Gullywash is a very bad map for them as well, and then I'm going to be eating my words if Russia happens to be decent on process, right? So... It could go either way still with with what limited knowledge i have but for now my, my small bias leans towards the romanian squad it's always in those nations cups that also dark horses can perform i mean you can look at yeah. solitary players and uh, it really defines or is defined how well they opt in the team composition during that tournament and especially russians are quite um active in their healthy community quite a big community as well i don't know how much the romanians practice with each other i know most of the names i would say since i've been playing with those players maybe in this game mode or in different game modes that we're not mentioning uh, tonight for the sake of pseudo elitism but uh, in in contrast i would also maybe for the sake of the storyline here trust into the russians that they definitely have a show here until then uh, romania is going to prove me wrong and um, since we have players disconnecting players reconnecting i'm going to have a little bit of a history time with you it won't be too long don't uh, you worry that you have to listen to my name for too long also wise genie is connecting so <laughs> i'm going to be with the wise genie right now for you uh, the first nations cup was played in 2008 that's a long time ago a lot of you weren't even born back then but you're still watching that's great <laughs> nice for you um for the history books russia played every nations cup um and the highest bracket they achieved was two times the quarterfinals, which is not that far up, you know, like not a very prominent sixes nation per se, I would say, even though they have a lot of talent in their gears. And Romania started a little bit later in 2012 and competed in every, um, well, 
beside the Nations Cup number three in every iteration of it. And uh, the penultimate Nations Cup number eight was also sit out for them. So they played a little like fewer Nations Cup and they never made it out of the group stages. So, you know, mm -hmm. you already have a clear defined set goal here for you. So Romania maybe trying to get out of the group stages and Russia trying to get out of the quarterfinals. But if you look at this storyline, you might say that the Russians historically have always been the way better team. Yeah, if you're going off the historical data, but you also have to consider that, considering the Nation Cups only happen every like couple of years, at least in sixes, right? I think it's always sixes and Highlander taking turns, basically. Um, no, there's, there's a chance. Yeah. There's a chance that you know some of the players that were around for past Russian teams are they just aren't playing anymore. Maybe the newer Romanian team has filtered in some new talent, and all of a sudden they're they're forced to be reckoned with, right? I don't know who the third team in their group, by the way, is. There should be a third one, right? So. Maybe that maybe that group could that, that group could be an upset from that point as well. If uh, only I knew. Who would, okay, there you go. Yeah, they, maybe I can give you some cover while you don't even look it up, but pull it out of your brain. And I also want to quickly point out that we have six groups. So groups A to F with four teams apiece save the group F with only three teams. So we have a totaling of twenty three nations, twenty three teams and i always love that it's wonderful to see old players coming back and representing their nation and it's wonderful that we have the eyes on what team is playing in every group so who's the third team do you know did you remember there's there's actually a couple because it is one of the four team groups they are sharing the group of poland and bulgaria alongside romania and russia here so an interesting an interesting group indeed that polish team probably packs quite the punch just just looking at the prediction right now i know there's always been quite the polish power teams and uh yeah this one looks basically like the same team that played sixes in prem last season so they're they're gonna be a force to be reckoned with for sure bulgarian team i think this might actually be one of the first times they're even yeah they haven't fielded many they've certainly sat out for a while last playing in 2016 not making other group stages then so they're back with a swing as well. It could be that could be interesting, those 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 matchups perhaps. But I guess for now, before we have to get ahead of ourselves too much, considering we don't know anything that could happen. This could literally go either way. We have a rough understanding of the players. We have a rough understanding of, you know, historical data and where things stand here. But if you had to put numbers where your mouth is, what do you think the scoreline is gonna look like at the end of process? Lovely that we came absolutely prepared. I'm going to be really, really boring and say it's going to be a tie. I'm pretty sure that Romania okay. will take um, that uh, Romania will take uh, Galiwash and then Russia realized, hey, like <laughs> we're the better team here, and then they're probably just going to take Galiwash and going to sober up a little bit as we are going live here and going to run down this roster once more, uh, or well, once more. Hello, welcome to the tenth edition of the Nations Cup. The Russians are featuring a Ducky Time and Wise Genie coupled with the Scouts, uh, Pluha and Thieves, Russian something, uh, on the both Soldier class, Sanu on Demo Man and Silver on Medic. Maybe good to the Romans in a bit as take us away on the very first midfight. Yeah, the teams are uh, fighting away as you do on your midfights. Nobody dying just yet, just a bit of peeking and prodding and a bit of bombing across, seeing if they can get any ground here. The Russians are seeming to grab a little bit more, but losing players, uh, trading out Asano, their demo man for Temo on the other side, Tevi Yosef, and also Yusti going down. Russians winning this midfight for the time being, but crucially, on the Romanian side, the medics did stay alive. Demos is escorting his medic out, and now we can go round down that entire roster to begin with. We do have Chris Casey on the medic with uh, Tavi on the demo man. You got Rutu and Ayusti on the soldiers, and then rounding out the roster, Demos and Yosef for the scout classes. So we'll see how well they can recover. They did have that Uber that they could keep here, and that's gonna be enough to get these Russians off the second point once more. They will be able to hold on to it just fine. Having to deal with this evil, uh, even situation now, as uh, well as on the Russian team to try and maybe uh, poke into this defense a little bit. They they moved a little bit quicker. They perhaps could have even done something here, but now they gotta they gotta do this the old-fashioned way. They gotta find a, an opening, maybe send a sack, maybe just go for the trade if you're so inclined. I suppose we'll see what uh, Silver and his boys are planning here. The, um, the gamers already slowed down. Justy doing a second 
uh, high bomb to control the choke and to have Sano on full health seemed to be it's a red demo man seemed to be a rare commodity for the Russians as he was perpetually so weak and they even still won that mid fight even though the Russians just clumped on their own IT area as right now the big leap is going to come in from the air uh, thieves is going to sort of die that was a singular sacrificial pact that they signed and got zero damage there onto Chris so basically uh, have to get the medic scared in that position to uh, have him pop you know you don't even need to kill a medic that is how medic psychologic works or psychology um anyway we're just waiting here already a first stalemate but what i wanted to get across is the russians just clumped on the midpoint onto their own it area and somehow still survived because they had decent counter jumps but stalemate city is already what we're queuing up into here and it's uh the same old, same old. It's not even the most stalemate of maps process, so at some point somebody's gonna get bored. At some point someone is gonna try to make something. I'm actually surprised Romania were so passive after that uh, sack by Thieves. Didn't send in anything themselves, neither soldier really opting to just go for a counterplay. See what they can do. I just think doing the same old high bomb to just deny choke as we see a soldier jumping in once more. Plexa once more just oh, being a bit of a distraction and the flashbang works! Well, kind of. Thieves goes in to trade for Yusti, I suppose. It's it's an it's a nigh an irresponsible trade that doesn't really do much, but at the very least they did something. There was a little bit of action and uh, <laughs> Yeah, now they're just gonna stare each other down some more. I loved how they switched up the roles. I thought we just have 30 uh, minutes now of soldiers suiciding and ruining their locks, but it was this time around Pluha sort of faking the suicide, and I was thinking, oh, okay, they intermittently change out their players, so not only one soldier has to ruin their locks, but it was only a fake bomb afterwards. Thieves also coming in and getting the trade, but we're right now again a bit into resident sleeper mode and land which is not really used what you're seeing from you know like the eastern side of europe usually like the see the russians trying to make something up they have a spy right now ducky time is switching to the spy class a little bit over healed <laughs> currently trying to sneak his way forward i don't even see where he is a position he's right now behind the point looking at players sizzling there on that point and he's probably waiting for distraction or for players to you know turn out the loud music because they get bored that is a, it's a good opportunity. Looks like Russians not necessarily spy checking just yet, not expecting. Yes, uncloaking. The spy play. He does uncloak. I think, ah, Chris turns around. They do spot the spy. The distraction doesn't come in in time either. No cleanup to be done by any soldier there. They do find at least an overextended soldier with Rutu. He does get taken down, but traded out for thieves on the other side. Oh, they find the other soldier by Yusti as well, though. This could actually be an okay opening. They're gonna get fast response on the Russian side. Well, somewhat. It's still pretty long for thieves, but. They might make something work with this, depending on how quickly they would want to move. It's it's not very easy to go off the back of that just now. The spy play no, not it's quite working. Again. They take some ground. Sano just pays with his life, though. Doesn't really get any a backup in Al Qaeda. Has to pay with his life as well. And yeah, that's a reset for the Russians. They have to actually hold out this Romanian counter aggression now. That is a big pick to get that demo going down. It gives them some grounds here to try and peek into mid ever so slightly. But yeah, they're not committing too much, are they? They're, they're just holding it back. Tevi perpetually being also so weak and Seno was basically sold for free there. The team didn't follow up. What was that like 10 rubles and you get our demo man? That was basically not a worthwhile trade in any case. He jumps to the front lines once more and aside from the midpoint we haven't seen any point capped so far once more sewer is uh, currently occupied by the red brigade uh, very fittingly set into the Russian side. Uh, Pluha, Wise Genie and Seno trying to control the area and Allowing a venue onto walking into these players. Uh, Ruto also controlling Ooh. and it allows the jump to come in. <sighs> Only one stray rocket onto Chris. He does not force. A second rocket there would have been would have been the thing to look for. It's a, it's a Hail Mary play and it would have been beautiful for the Red Army here. Unfortunately, it didn't quite happen. And now, yeah, they're just going to pop that Uber to try and make something happen. They're going to go for the exchange, nice. but they didn't even get to the point in time. It's going to be a round reset. And uh, if this spells uh, the nature of it, then maybe you weren't wrong about the the, <laughs> the tie on the first map. Because if the rest of the next 24 minutes goes on like this, then we're going to be seeing a lot more like that. Hopefully yeah, it's not, not what but... I'm really used to seeing from uh, those teams, especially the point that I wanted to get across earlier is Romania or even Russia. They want to get the cheeky strats out and they want to surprise the enemy team. They usually just don't you know, waste away their time and then twiddle their thumbs. Um, Demosh is currently occupying the top area on the scout class, not really healed in any case, but Ruto is going to do a high bomb. No one really takes any consequential damage, but Thieves is going to jump forward. 
Chris surfs it out. The Devilman also in the air. The clowns in the air. Pluha dying and thieves as well. So right now, this midpoint is one for the Romanians. Tenno is going to keep himself alive with his able stickies and Josef falling, but the uh, the aggression is still not really abating. Uh, currently, only going to spend the rest of their resources to capping that midpoint. Yeah, couldn't quite, couldn't quite chase that. You're very aggressive on the chase, but it's taken care of by the demo. We'll have to go into the respawn queue and actually uh, decides to pick up the rifle immediately on a respawn. Very, very clever choice there to immediately seize that opportunity. It's, it's uh, decent timing, I suppose, and we'll see how the Romanian side with the sniper now decides to try and break the stalemate now that they're in the driver's seat they have an opportunity to do it instead and well they've got him propped up in Su already looking at the shutter got a uh, soldier trying to open that door as well and the russians are certainly aware of the sniper now so it's going to be a lot harder to try and get that shot off medics already well out of harm's way the only people even remotely looking at him are not going to be that easy to hit either and i guess he even goes down so that that makes it even harder to get an angle going now as a Plua jumps in as well. Doesn't really get much ground with it, but just a bit of a distraction. Actually dies to spam a choke. Okay, that's a, that's a disaster. That's unfortunate. I mean, if you once again look at it nominally, it's a one for one trade, but Plua is yeah. still on a 15 second respawner, so they might get a cheeky here rotating the sniper through the IT area. Never mind, he's going to change his mind, and he was spotted in the sewer, so the surprise factor was ruined, which makes it way easier for the. Um, for the Russians hither to, to um, bunker in. Stickies are on this sewer area once more and Justi is always the one Ooh, okay. who has to try um, to clear out those stickies but the trade is going to not only commence but further on progress into the sewer area. Yosef is dying as a result of that Uber but both teams playing it quite safe. Ruto also down so a two-man pick uh, push here for the Romanian, uh, sorry for the Russians as they further on Spiral uh, through the enemy team here. Tevi's so weak. Justi is out. Tevi's completely sold. Probably no. Never mind. Uh, KZ is going to come in. Takes the second rocket, but the Russians crumble. They had such a great trade there. It went so well for them, but they just couldn't chase it out. Romanians get into good positioning uh, quickly enough with the remaining players. Managed to just pull this little Russian aggression apart piece by piece. And all that's left is a couple of players escaping to last. Medic uh, not Sorry. having Uber ready either. That's, that's I mean, uh, Justi just yeah. wondered like he was having a walk in the park, you know, and he thought I was searching for formidable yeah. opponent, but just gets double piped in the side, which is kind of a weakening since they had a, uh, well, not even slight Uber advantage, never mind. They're going to once more bunker in and they have Wise Genie on the sniper class. So we have a lot of off classes. Yeah, we're seeing, we're seeing a little bit more of uh, that. Obviously the defensive century going up as well. So Russia ready to hold this point with an iron fist. We'll see if the curtain will stand for the time being. They have to deal with whatever Romania will throw at them as well with demos picking up that sniper rifle. Uber is now ready on both sides as well. So an exchange always possible, obviously, should it come to it. But Romania lost all momentum with Yusti going down there. Couldn't really try to stop the Russians from setting up a last hold. So they have to do this a little bit more traditionally. A little bit more trying to find the, the hole in the defense. The sniper going for a hero shot through one could be the thing they want. Unfortunately, there's a lot of stickies blocking them. And why is Genie just wins that duel anyway? He looks at him. That motion wasn't looking. And there you go. That's the sniper duel taken care of immediately. And now, actually, if you're the Russian sniper here, you might have a, an opportunity to get a little bit more cheeky yourself, a little bit more aggressive, find a, find a bigger angle and get something more for your, uh, for your worth. No uh, way there to get emotional uh, or demotivational on the side of Demos but he did lose that uh, counter sniper battle but he doesn't feel accomplished onto switching onto any different class. Seno is so weak once more 18 HP so we're going to get easily spammed out. I was pointing out that was their bane early on perpetually having their own demo man so weak and uh, furthermore it is going to allow the space for Demos uh, to Walk into the five area supported by Justi and Yosef. Um, here is White peeking that angle, but the soldier is going to easily read uh, that uh, Thieves on half HP. The sentry gun going to get built currently, and Thieves so weak as well. Still, sentry gun is going to get dealt with, but again, just poking and prodding. Oh no, sentry don't mean that Yosti can jump in, gets out to the medic, but the dispenser armor is too strong. He can't hit that second rocket, the dispenser just soaks it up, and Silver is gonna hang onto that Uber, no danger on him, and and another opportunity for the Russians to maybe uh, break this Romanian hold. And they're trying to get Wise, Wise Genie some 
some angles here, but there's only so much you can do. Yossi's gonna spawn very quickly as well. You're gonna have to deal with more Romanian players trying to flood in instead, and you still have to deal with the fact that you can't be too aggressive into that other sniper as well. Demos is still gonna be a force to be reckoned with here. He's the uh, Romanians just putting pressure on. The Romanians learn from their 3-0 against Netherlands, apparently, mm -hmm. as they don't want to hasten anything. And also, we don't really are um, that knowledgeable on who gets into the playoff stages here, as we see a snapper with a snapper battle ringing out in one, and Demos is currently uncontested, as Ruto is going to almost get picked by Pluha for the sake of the rollout battle. Um, but maybe even the third player, or the third team, right oh. now, Wise Genie is... Once more, I think it's 2-0 now for him on the sort of a sniper versus a sniper duel, and he's still peeking as what? his... What, what, what were those stickies? I, I, I did not know Tavi had stickies above one. That is... <laughs> you got YG with that one. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, sniper dealt with. Uh, fair enough. I I genuinely... I, I think he's just as surprised by those as, uh, as I am right now, because I didn't even see those, and I was watching that angle, so... <laughs> So that's quite something. There you go, a sniper uh, problem dealt with, allows you to take lobby here as well if you're Romania, and they're doing exactly that, they're taking a lot of ground. Matter of fact, they're taking too much, and Ayusti gets taken care of before they can get the Uber out there. They do get that sentry though, and they do get the counter force out of silver eventually, but their Uber's already faded on the Romanian side, and yeah, Tavi's caught in that one, you can't really escape at that point. Getting your medic out of there is primal order number one, and they do do that, they do get everybody out there. At the end of the day, Ayosti spawns as well. So they have to give up second on the side of Romania, but they can certainly recover. There's not going to be much of a disad, and if they can hold off these Russian players, Tavi will even be there momentarily in the fight. And um, yeah, Ayosti's completely sold there mm. on the rock, yeah. uh, gets like outgunned 1 to 5. And I'm not even sure if they agree with this play from the Russians popping their Uber on the last, but I get to this in a second as we're right now parading forward here onto the midpoint. Everyone is scared out. Oh, Tavi's so low as well. Uh, alongside Yosef, also Chris going down to about half HP. He was staying in the dispenser, Silver on that last, and he was uh, spotted, but he also spotted the enemy team. Maybe could have been a bit more courageous, but it doesn't really, uh, well, lose them any momentum since they're still charging forward here, but there is a hiding Ruto man going to bump in onto the Medic. He's still dancing about, but oh. three rockets it takes, and that seals the deal for that match. Thieves is also going to get controlled, and Seno is still weak. The Russians once more with a good you know, the good impetus, the good coordination pushing out, but they get completely caught there by hiding players. Ah, just, just slipping, slipping that soldier through. Why is Genie not being able to keep his medic safe for long enough? And you pay the price. You pay the very heavy price now of having to deal with... Well, actually having to deal with an Uber ad, but there is still a scout by Why is Genie has actually slipped into the cracks behind the Romanian defense. And he's just going to try to, uh, well, stop the mid-cap for the time being, I suppose. He's decided he won't be able to be, chase that combo anymore. So just buying a little bit of time for his team is the best he can do there, and I respect it. I respect not being tunnel visioned on that medic frag, that probably wouldn't have happened. At the very least, you buy yourself a little bit of time here. Silver is gonna get that uber sooner rather than later, they're probably gonna have it ready for a last hold as well. But they do have to mount a bit of a last hold. They're just getting set up again, Sentry's only level 2 now. No dispenser armor to speak of, very, very passive positioning for the Russians here as well. If Romania wanted to make use of it, they certainly could. And uh, well, perhaps with a little bit of uh, spotting by IOST and uh, also ignoring stickies that you could have walked into and died too, I guess. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how well they try to approach this. They opt for the, they want for the to left side here. Okay. Josef this time on the sniper, not a Demosh anymore. And Josef is already a slow peeking this, but he doesn't find any favorable sideline. And Justi is completely alone in the lobby area. If they rec would have recognized that on the Russian, they could have easily cleaned uh, that uh, frag up. But. Um, Silver was all to the wiser to that sideline, and as so was Chris early on. He was hiding on that second point and maybe expecting a defensive sniper, but there was no play. It once more has slowed down, not even from a counter to a trot, since we were never in a trot to begin with. Uh, also, Kluha is going to control the forward area, but still 0-0 zero, zero scoreline. Half of the time has already passed, and Wise Genie is uh, peeking uh, this one out with Yosef. We might have actually just joined like the MGE playground here for snipers, but Justi is falling. Uh, couldn't quite keep his uh, sniper safe. Gets spammed down by some nice uh, rockets instead, and Thieves is going to use the opportunity to be a bit more aggressive in uh, lobby for a bit there. Rotating out with his demo now, Sano. Putting down some sticks, just seeing if he can catch anybody off, should they decide to retake lobby again. For the Russians at this point, it's either get an absolute wipe on Romania or hold last for three minutes and uh, go for the round reset once more, seeing if he can recover that way. And uh, <clears throat> they're doing a good job holding them off right now. Yosef loses that duel, gets uh, cleaned up by a little rocket and uh, allows this Russian team to be a bit more aggressive, perhaps, trying to peek out. They've already got the sniper. 
trying to trying to get an angle somewhere, seeing if they can get him something. And oh, there we go! The, the very shot, shot he needs. The very shot he needs. Chris is out of position. Gets punished immediately. I mean, I don't even know about out of position. They created so much space there from the rollout since uh, Wise Genie and um, Seno even, or I think that was alongside with Thieves. They created so much damage onto the both soldiers, but right now, once again, maybe they crumble. Sano falling early, Yosef and Justi both cleaned up. There's still a very dangerous sticky trap on at that point, but a jumping soldier will not get anything done there onto Silver as he gets completely meat shot out of mid-air, Ruto falling down ultimately to the ground, they're going to delay only Ruto on that forward spawn, so five players vie forward against six Russian Russian players and 6% uh, advantage is still for the Russians as they rush on further on onto that midpoint, but what we saw before, like a beautiful sniper sideline, but uh, he was sort of forced into it because his own soldiers got very weak, you also sort of forget that the enemy has a sniper in the heat of the battle, but finally something happening I was already ready to sleep in but you know let's see if they want to convert this but I have the strangest sentiment and feeling it might slow down yeah they found themselves in this position before they haven't been here for about 12 minutes now but they're back trying to push this Romanian second once again once again and it's what they failed at last time it's what they couldn't quite crack in the first round going to that round reset maybe just maybe now getting a bit warmed up the Russian squad's got a bit of a better idea Taking the initiative into the second, finding a way to make their sacks or distractions work, maybe get some off-classes going again. We'll see, I suppose, if some people rotating through IT or just sending thieves in there, probably ready for the surprise bomb again, as uh, we're probably going to see Plua in a second. Do it a very patented uh, choke bomb. There it is. The distraction once more thieves comes in from lower as well. Does not get any ground at all, though. Romania is ready for that one. They've seen it twice before already. They're very much so ready this time as well, and... Yeah, that's just gonna reset it back for the Russians not to be able to do anything for the next uh, about 10 seconds. I want to say they read that book so long ago, but they also read that book so long ago because it's literally the same playbook that they're using. Like, the Romania is not really doing anything different as well since we're just leapfrogging onto the second point. We saw not a singular real last push, I think we saw one and then uh, they dropped their demo before and uh, got completely juggled by the sentry gun, so the mechanical warden protecting that last point from being capped. 20 minutes have already expired, Darky time is on a sniper, it is the repeating dia show, you can literally turn into older games, I was also... Mm, bit confused if it was a deja vu since maybe I turned into a wrong you know connect or wrong demo which is already quite dated but seems like this is what they opted to play for I'm not really sure why because I mean especially in premiership and if those Russian players are premiership teams they are so aggressive especially these days and don't really bunker all that much since this round timer you know doesn't really allow for so long stalemates mm -hmm. and especially in nations cups it really leapfrogs a lot but seems to, I don't know, like, they're so passive here. Yeah, they're really trying to make the sniper plays work, Darker Time, trying to find an angle, get anything with that sniper rifle. Desperate for the location of a good pick here once more. They did it once with the sniper play to get out of last. If they can do it once more, it will certainly get them to the enemy's last, but they have to make it happen, and they have to find grounds here. Everybody's just bunkered up in sewers, seeing if they can... Get that sniper and angle. Chris obviously ready for it this time around. Not going to be pushed out of that anytime soon. And these Romanians doing a magnificent job denying that door as soon as it's opened as well. Getting people off of it. Making sure that nobody gets too deep. A very bad angle for Darky here as well. I mean, maybe potentially you could get the demo there, Tavi. Pretty bit aggressive on that point, but all you're really doing is getting these Romanian players out of some sight. Oh, you're still weak though. Team to go in. Okay. I used to go weak. Wise Genie does rush in, but he's gonna pay with his life. Just gets Not so wise after all. I mean, it was sort of a gamble. He almost got the UC pick, but then he completely bled out. I was uh, ready to say Ruto also has the most formidable and a chill job as well. Sitting into upper IT, nothing is going to touch him. Um, maybe he gets a bit of a slack cut out for him, but only one pick, one small sniper still on the field, so it is going to not enable any team to walk forward. I want to encourage these people to try different uh, strats, but it is only one and a half minutes until we see another mid-fight. Yeah, potentially at the very least, if neither team decides to eh, cap a point at any point here, which is uh, kind of the objective of the game, I suppose. They'll have to uh, see what they do. The the choke sniper is a very ambitious play indeed. It could have definitely worked if uh, they didn't I have mean, a UC I mean, on the other side. You, you know when you load into a server, then it tells you a tip about the game. And does it also explain mm. what CP stands for? You know, that abbreviation? Do they know? Uh, 
I am. I don't know if they know that, that it means uh, control points, but I guess we'll see. I guess if they if they understand what they're supposed to do here, they certainly have so far at least a little bit. They're still trying to get that sniper angle going. They're still trying to make some ground here. No soldier bombs. Finally, they come in the Russian soldiers, seeing if they can do anything. They actually get the force out of Chris. It's what they needed. Some initiative, something to happen. They do lose a soldier on their side. Flew up pace with his life, but they have their own Uber to respond with. They have. A push ready waiting to happen, and they got about 30 seconds to make it happen unless uh, they want to give the Romanians another shot at a mid fight. So it's the Russians to lose. They have to make this happen. Wonderfully executed. I don't want to belittle anyone. I really just want to um, release their full potency since that was a wonderful jump and high bomb really quick there by Pluha. One Chris Brocket and would have probably taken another one on the side of Chris. They limited uh, him to 70% on the Medigun and if they are fast here to uh, once more uh, traverse into that last point, but it doesn't really seem like they want to uh, do it just judging from the game flow so far already. They're going to use it finally. A I don't know about decisive last push, but they pushed the last regardless, and the demo man is going to jump behind. Um, Silver completely caught out there because the blue uber was used much later indeed. That's unfortunate for the Russians, and I mean, you can't blame him for at least trying to be aggressive, trying to make the most of the time, but probably not expecting Chris to build as fast as he did, and ultimately it's just a one person after another crumbling, trying to be cheeky, be a little uh, hiding somewhere, trying if they can find anything, but it's just not going to happen. Couldn't get onto that point anywhere near in time. And uh, it's back to Romania in the driver's seat and perhaps even some initiative out of them to try and take this into mid. They are finally able to be a little bit more aggressive again on their own and uh, they're, yeah, they're, they're taking that mid as well if they get the opportunity to. Why wouldn't they? At the very least, it gives you another shot at that last push and now we're starting to get into map ending territory because we've only got six and a half minutes left on the clock as well. It's still zero all. It must have really been no rounds, so an you know. issue with counting Ubers there. Otherwise, I would have probably played this completely yeah. differently. I was a bit surprised, really, because I would have uh, expected them to know that they have equal Ubers after they push. You could have definitely played that differently, but never mind, as the action is finally a fast shifting. Tevi is uh, falling, and it will be equal Ubers used uh, right now. Silver has decent players uh, to heal here. Wise Genie is occupying the top area and shooting Ruto from afar, and it forces him out of his own uh, choke. Seno perpetually weak survives. Everyone is still alive. Tevi lacking, and that means zero stickies in any choke, which is an opportunity to barrel forward once more, decisively, aggressively. I mean, Equal Ubers, this time they surely know those players are experienced. They can count numbers, Ubers, and have a clock nearby. In any case, though, they're going to build this Uber here onto Wise Genie, and it will be equal Ubers once more. I would even like for them maybe to exploit this little crack there in the defenses of the Romanian side, maybe even pushing through IT and surprising Ruto since he's always chilling there on top and he was never really pressured before. Maybe that hands them an early pick, but I mean, we're waiting to see if this trend continues here with this waiting or if they just, you know, put on their big boy pants. Yeah, we're not seeing a lot of switch ups in the strategies for either teams, here, but you know, we've seen more more control of the midpoint, at least for the Russians in the last 10 or so minutes. So and we're not seeing much strategy switch up at all. They're, they're just waiting, sitting back, maybe going for the double soldier flashbang type of bomb and seeing what it can do. No, no pressure through IT ever at all. Dark time back on the sniper as well. It's, it's almost a cookie cutter try to approach uh, to this point at this point. And they're not really innovating much beyond that. And well, I mean, I guess uh, eventually you might catch somebody out on the Romanian side, but you gotta move quick as well with these sniper plays. The surprise factor is only gonna work so much, and especially if you've done it four times before, it loses a lot of its uh, punch immediately. So you gotta make sure that this works as soon as possible, or you're gonna start running into time trouble. Um, once more settled okay. into... Oh, there comes okay. a sort of forced Uber encounter. I was watching Seno sticking off the sewer area. Um, they have a lot of momentum here. Chris is caught in transition. Lost in translation, rather. I don't know if they're still speaking the same language. Tevi also falling. Decent cap time. Zero casualties on the side of the Russians. Uh, finally, the window is so open you can uh, fly out and uh, cap that last point. Tevi is still on a 10 second respawn of the mechanical warden of the sentry gun. It's not going to get built up. No, it's going to be turned into scrap and bolts. A lot of Captain here on the point, and the soldier and the scout are enough to finally cloud back. Something happened. It only took 26 minutes, and they, they finally <laughs> got there. They finally, 
finally got there. <laughs> Good. We have a very professional Lord. producer. Just want to let the Twitch chat know. Um, we have a wonderful number there to post. Um, we weren't really sure if we still had a one, you know, in the banks for you, but it was zero zero for so long. Finally, we have a one. It's a, it's a number I haven't seen in uh, 27 minutes. And hey, look, we, we could we could have another one in a minute if uh, Romania comes back with another round. Or maybe even fight. a two. Or oh, two, win depending win on how this mid goes. For now, it's being quite quite a long, drawn out one. But Tavi is going to be the first casualty. Santa on the other side getting cleaned up as well, though. And they're finding Rutu. So the frags are falling in favor of the Russians. A high bomb by Plua as well. Getting floated by the scouts as yes, he slips in behind, but doesn't get the damage he wants. On to Silver. And it's going to be Chris and Demos once more escaping with their lives. Going to keep that Uber alive, going to keep that Medic in play. But if you're down around with uh, less than three minutes left on the map clock, you don't want to be on your own last. It's a very bad position to try and claw back a victory from. Not only do you need to pull off a miraculous coast to coast, you need to uh, make sure you don't just get the bus parked on you right now. Because if you're the Russian team and you've been doing it for the past 27 minutes, why, why wouldn't you at this point? Why wouldn't you just slow the game down a little bit more, park the bus for a while? It's the initiative for the Romanians and they have to push out of their own last, which is just, it can't go any more uphill. This is the steepest hill that you could possibly try to climb. And yet they have to pull it off somehow. Now Silver and company are the very first time in this entire game in my eyes justified to, as you alluded to, park the bus and, and do nothing. But the problem is, do Romania play to win or do they play not to lose and, like even more than they already have? But they really have to push the issue currently. Um, we have a damage on the spy and he's already sneaking in, getting okay. one frag onto thieves onto the upper IIT area. IT doesn't stand really for intelligence as we saw there, as no one was really watching for the spy. They really didn't turn their volume out all that much. Also, we have some juvenile laughter in the background. Thanks, finally I can get some, you know, um, some slack out, out for me. Usually people just stay quiet. But Justi is still getting controlled there and nothing really happening off of that pick. Uh, Teddy is alone on top, completely peppered. Oh. Kruha dominating the, the moment. Yeah, uh, also, they, they use Uber. Yeah, they use the Uber through to try and maybe, you know, get Tavi in as well, but he gets dropped out of the Uber before it even gets popped, obviously, even if they get the force out of Silver now. Russian Uber is so much better as a response. Two crucial players make it three dead for the side of Romania here. You can wait for that Sano respawn and try to get in, even if Tavi's up by the time you do. It's so set and done for the Russians at this point. 52 seconds left for Romania to try and pull off an entire coast to coast, which I'm starting to think is physically impossible. So we're probably looking at a GG for the Russians. It took them a while to get there. It was a grueling, long, long round effectively of process. But at the very end, they did get that one round that mattered and even even if they lose everything now, even if everybody wipes, which they don't, because they're just in control of every fight, it seems. Uh, yeah, they're, yeah they've got zero. it. They got it's it going to be a tier zero. I mean, the engineer has five frags here to pick up. I'm definitely going to believe yeah. into Yusuf. Never mind. Dies. And basically full wipe. We finally see a two. That's fantastic. We are learning so much numbers here. We are also going to take our educational purposes very, very seriously. So learn numbers with us right here. Also, quite similar, by the way, since we are talking about it, to the Euro Cup. I don't want to linger about because you probably came here to, you know, escape this ever ending, uh, never ending grip of football. But um, I mean, <clears throat> against the Netherlands, they lost a 3-0, and uh, to be fair, they had pretty good initiative early on, but then they kind of got rolled there, um, like, the 1-0, then 2-0, 3-0, it's only 2-0 here, um, but still, against my prediction, the Russians realizing way earlier than the second map that is coming up right now, which is Gallywash, that they're probably the top dogs here, I mean, the DM does favor him for quite some time, but it doesn't really get spotlighted, because both teams just... I like to call it, you know, um, being very tactical because because moves and counter moves, but it was literally just people ordering pizza and staying stationary all the time. Yeah, just just sitting around for a long time. And it shows in the stats. I mean, there was no damage dealt. Highest DPM, I just, he just, you know, with his constant choke bombs, denying Sano and uh, company some grounds and choke, and that's why he manages to top damage. But, you know, he's playing he's playing that soldier lifestyle. That's a KT, KD to die for that one. But, yeah, it, it shows how slow of a match it was, right? Nobody dealt any damage. There's not even that many frags along alongside it either. Just a lot of people staring each other down. Not really wanting to take too much of a risk and 
Well, in the end, it paid off for the Russians, right? They were passive as all hell. They were sitting on that mid for probably a combined, like, 22 minutes or something like that. But it worked out for them, right? They got there in the end. They managed to wear down the Romanian spirits. Maybe they won the war of attrition. They had a little bit more stamina, whatever you want to describe it as. And in the end, that's what counted. They got there, and uh, now they got to do it again on goalie wash. So few frags uh, in total, as you already pointed out. I love that because it really diminishes the importance of locks, which is what I'm mm -hmm. always um, in favor of because locks don't tell you anything about the game if you didn't watch the game. That's my firm grip and belief on it. Also, quickly pointing out medic stats, Chris dropping once to a sniper shot into yeah. the head, obviously. Decent medic healing stats. Also want to quickly point out, only two deaths onto Silver and three deaths onto Chris because obviously it was a very slow game and not a lot of medics were killed in the process of that. But I mean, that sniper shot honestly was not even uh, the big bane that they were dealing with. Usually, you know, you die, but I mean, they wanted to push uh, into the last point anyway. I don't think they even lost that round. Per I mean, technically, okay, I think they lost that round, but only because that round was like 27 minutes long and we yeah. basically only had one round. If you count out that we always restarted on the midpoint, you know, like you can yeah. say <laughs> it is causation, but maybe it is not correlation in terms of that sniper shot cost them to lose this round but we're going to galley wash right now i'm hoping and i'm firmly believing we don't have as much stalemates because a that is not possible and b we don't really have all that many you know like clear set out choke points especially for sniper like you don't have surprise angles it's just a suppressive yeah. force the sniper here you know where he's standing you can avoid the sniper and i'm predicting players to have some cheeky big door rotates maybe even through the um, lobby area into riverside what I, what I can see uh, with this one as well uh, is that maybe maybe some, because it's a, such a different map, uh, you know, Gully Wash plays so differently from, from Process. Process but it has a uh, CP as well. It has true. a CP as well. That's true. But yeah, it's a map, you know, that traditionally favors scouts a lot and uh, Gully Wash more of an explosive friendly class. So a uh, map much rather. So maybe that, that favors either roster in, in some other ways, right? Maybe we could see a Romanian comeback here. Maybe IST I and Rutu being able to stretch their legs a little bit more than they were able to on process could be what Romania needs right now. Maybe that is what they what they could very much so desire to turn I mean, the tides in their favor. But then I'm on going the to take side, you off on. you know... I'm going yeah, to take you off on. Let's get a bit of uh, analytical. I mean... Mm -hmm. How I understood you, Ruto and Yussi, for you are the standout players for Romania. I mean, who the, are the playmakers? I'm putting you on the spot right now onto Romania. I mean, they, honestly, Ruto and Yussi were trying to do their best. They were, they were certainly, certainly making plays. I didn't see much out of anybody else on the team. Like the, the scouts sometimes, but Demos was, you know, busy trying to hold the glue together, trying to hold the team together, and Yosef just uh, occasionally sniping, but not really getting the duels to work out in his favor. Tavi just you know, living the role of a of a demo man with a team that's struggling to stick with him as best as they can. Even if they have the na national cohesion at the end of the day, I doubt all of these guys play together every day, right? You don't have like the team synergy. This isn't witness gaming we're talking about here, right? So at the end of the day, as a demo, you're always going to have a little bit of a rougher time on a team like that. So to me, the standouts on Romania were the soldiers on that last map. They When something happened for the Romanians, it seemed to always be off the back of them. Uh, taking some initiative, getting some crucial, crucial bomb in or something like that. However, the same is also true for the Russian side. So, you know, it's it's a matchup between those those titans at that point, in my opinion. You brought up you brought up witness gaming. I'm going to also segue into this and the favorites on the Russian side. I mean, wise genie, if you abbreviate it. I mean, is WG? It's like witness gaming. Maybe oh, he's a new prodigy true. since I was also looking at numbers, you know, at the locks we were all, but it is such a suppressive fire from those Russian scouts. They definitely did well. I mean, he had locks to die for, especially the enemy team to die for since he killed so many of them, as you pointed out, and like three and a half point, um, like 3.5 KD for him also. Um, Ducky time playing well as a supportive role on that as scout class. I'm 
not really seeing a whole lot from Thieves. I feel like he was like a lot sold. He definitely had some impacts. Uh, Pluha uh, also with the great jumps to force the enemy medic, but I don't think uh, that they are restricted to that by just bombing in. I'm pretty sure that they also have this quite suppressive curtain fire where they um, control the enemy team that just runs to rush in and then get, they get completely picked apart by Darky Time and Wise Genie. We didn't see that on process. We only saw a double scout basically destroying every soldier suiciding in onto the Romanian side. But those are the sort of um, clear set uh, flanks that I see developed right now, like Romanian soldiers definitely being the playmakers on their side and the Russian scouts having way yeah. more impact on process than the opposing soldiers. But I want to see more out of uh, Senu and out of Tevi. I think that Tevi mm -hmm. is maybe a bit more experienced. He's maybe doing a little more. I, I was mainly pointing out Senu for being very weak, always dying sort of on the wayside, but it's Team Fortress 2. You can guess from the name if you use your brain knowledge. It's never a singular player or very, very seldomly a singular player issue. You know, like if the Russians support Senu here more and heal him more, then I think he can definitely also pull through. Yeah, that is definitely a possibility. And in the, if you go in for the head-to-head -head demo matchup, absolutely, I would agree Tavi has the, the edge on that one. But at the end of the day, it, it de depends on how you play around your individual skills in the grand scheme of things in the overall team. And uh, I, guess we'll, I guess we'll see how they, how they adjust here. Obviously, Russians have that momentum ever so slightly headed into the second map as well, which could... A very well, very, very well make a difference for them, but at the same time, maybe this little break, a little bit of time to map talk, maybe have a Siggy or something is enough to get Romania back on, take the edge off, realize, okay, it's just one map, you know, we're going to go straight into this. As a matter of fact, they've ready it up. They're not even, even going to take much longer than that. We're just going to go straight into map two of Gully Wash in the matchup of Russia versus Romania Nations Cup number 10 in the 66 type of playstyle. And, uh, well, after Russians take the first map, we'll see if Romania has a response on Gullywash or if they are going to have to go home with zero points for this matchup as they find the first frag onto Scout, followed up by Thieves dying as well. And you just have Rutu in the enemy combo there, just causing mayhem behind. Plua almost going down for his troubles as well. Just off the back of that one soldier that going completely through drop down. Tr transition here. Senu is yeah. on the low ground and also Wise Genie going to get absolutely uh, torn apart and no really and uh, no player really capping that last point. But just is already jumping through. He's onto the medic here. He's going to chase him. Silver just about going to survive uh, by walking through that water area and huge mistake I would uh, say. And Tevi is uh, still controlling this balcony there. Straight up taking this bit of sleepy game into their own hands and trying to walk forward but um, Demosh falling so this uber is not imminent anymore this last push they're going to turtle on the second point and Darky time alongside wise the genie and silver is going to push on the top they're only going to find root on the medic is going to surf forward silver after this amazing surf feels the need to pop and you already know that they have a longer uber here i don't know if it's going to be better on the romanian side yeah, they, they can't really chase anything, anything with it at all. Dark is the only one left behind, and he's not even getting chased by the Uber. He's still pulling so much aggression. Sano again. Forever. The bomb comes in as well. They do lose Sano, though, and ah, the Russians just can't quite follow it up. They had such a nice thing going, but Silver just getting out of position, getting getting surfed, getting away with it, but still opting to pop anyway. And now they have to go back to last. Their player's down as well. It's almost a one round, surely, for the remains at this point. There's only a couple yeah, players coming into respawns, but yeah. This is a completely transformed team all of a sudden. They are way, way more aggressive, and the ag aggression at least is working this time around. As Complete they change of pace. First round. Yeah. What we saw is they completely rolled over them. I mean, Tevi was shot weak early on, but then this double soldier claimed all the ground on the side of the Romanians, and then a failed push out of the last point is going to give Romania this uh, first point there on this uh, very um, on this very score line as the. Bane of Seno also rang in once again. He just fed in the main area, was completely left alone. No one was really supporting him. Thieves and Ducky Time both already down. You see also falling, but there's a scout running about. And Silver is shot perpetually a little bit weak, which uh, encourages him to leave the vicinity and evacuate the premises further on as Ruto is completely denied in the choke area. Pluha also going to get healed further on. 10% advantage only onto Silver. They don't have the eyes on that, obviously. But Demosh has kept the midpoint. Tevi is still controlling that choke area, but it leaves Bluha oh. to come in. It was an unwatched underplay. No one oh. was, you know, getting the duty onto watching that low yeah. 
Yeah, hate to see that one. Scout on top of the point, other scout busy spamming choke. Neither of them watching that under drop down play. And you love to see it as a soldier get away with it perfectly. Plua gets that frag onto Chris even. Now, no Uber in play for the Romanians. Russia having a nice chance here to actually come back and still eh, taking it slow and steady. They know that besides that mid pick, they didn't get much else. So they're gonna probably run into some Romanians that are just being a little bit cheeky. Perhaps trying to cut them off somewhere, deny them as much time as possible because that's all they can play for at this point. They should probably be setting up last by now with Russia taking control of second as well. And they are indeed getting out of there. Yo Yosef ready with the sentry gun getting built. They even have the pyro ready as well. They've bought themselves a nice chunk of time here though on the Romanian side. That Uber's up to 85% by now and before these Russians are ready in a position everybody healed up looking to go, that Uber is probably going to take over for Chris and that very much so is the case. So it's going to be an equal Uber hold as much as that means. And why is he dies to Rutu somehow? I didn't, I wasn't even, what well, came in my eyes on that? Honestly, that must have happened on the flank somewhere. <laughs> Actually, it happened in the water. Red lost the advantage of 40 seconds, which is completely eponymous of what has been happening all game long. Um, also, what we saw, Silva is going down a little bit there in the health numbers. He was holding on the stairs area. We have a stickies in the normal spot on the shutter area. It might make you shudder if you don't really watch your angles. Um, Justi is also jumping on to the balcony, but I wasn't really sure why um, the Romanians didn't uh, deny the like Russians a little bit more passage since um, <laughs> there were no players really close. I mean, it is a gamble, obviously, maybe you lose some player, but they were able to, you know, catch up on the Uber. It's a normal meta game right now. Yosef on the pyro class, also a full level three sentry gun up alive and kicking so suppressive once more. But we have a double player number here going on to that last point already through water. Yeah, Darky and uh, Thieves trying to be a bit cheeky in water as they by some distraction for Wise Genie sniping from main and if he can hit that shot onto anything crucial here, even just a bit of damage on the sentry could sync up with some rockets or something, but he's getting denied any ground. He gets taken down by Tavi. Matter of fact, they find Plua as well alongside him. Nobody paying with their lives either on the Romanian side. Matter of fact, this could be a nice little chance for them to push out if they take the initiative and that's what Ayusti seems to be doing as he's already in lobby, just trying to Trying to deny a little bit of ground here, peek and prod a little bit, but nobody's following up with him. Romania more than happy to just hold on to this last point, get a better opening, or even just play for the round reset. At the end of the day, they are up around. It's on the Russians to make the push happen, not on Romania to uh, make a mistake pushing out and then lose a round for no reason, right? So I, I respect the, the idea of being a little bit passive here, and uh, Russians sticking with the wise Chinese sniper play, seeing if he can make something happen, perhaps. No, I was gonna say perhaps it's going for the for the hero shot in the river, but he rotates back to lobby, tries to go for the the main play instead, and uh, oh, finds a nice, nice, All nice, right. uh, double uh, double players once again. Ducky time and Pluha were in the lower lobby uh, in the water area. Sorry, early on, forcing the ice onto that, and the sniper is still shooting. Yosef uh, dying to that um, body shot. I mean, on the contrary, wise genie going down very low, and Seno also died. So again, not a last push per se, but. Describing the play that we saw 20 seconds ago as the normal metagame cookie cutter is probably the euphemism of the day since it is what we've been seeing for the past 38 minutes or something, if you also account process. But finally, something was mixed up. I really liked that double sneak onto the point. Unfortunately, nothing came of it, but they also don't lose anything for it. Seno is still trying to spam out from the river area and they right now have a pyro, darky time, on that pyro class oh. rushing to water. They gave Weiss Genie a lot of time there on the hero shot oh, as well, oh, thankfully. Get, 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 get. Uh, oh my god, thankfully, thankfully the, the dispenser kept the medic safe as well. There's so much chaos for this Romanian team and yet they hang on. So many people trying to get onto that point from the Russian side and nobody being able to really make it happen just now. I just see raining down hell together with everybody else onto that point and it keeps them so solidly held up for now. The Uber still think. not popped out either side either, so it's very much still possible that the Russians are planning for that. Darky. Opting for that spy as well. It's their final shot, really, with one minute left on a round timer. They have to make this one work. The spy play has to amount to something. They have to somehow get in there and make something happen here. But Demos is on the pie already. <laughs> he he bumps into him as well. Oh, it's so, it's so Jover. That, that spy signal kept them safe for a second, but yeah, no, he's, he's cooked. Literally I mean, cooked. I mean, hiding as a spy in the secret area is sort of asking for trouble, and Demos is yeah. also going to sneak him out. Also. You might have thought that 
as a pyromaniac class, it is counterintuitive to walk through water, but it was a great uh, deal um, that is secured there on the last point uh, for... Oh! The oh. Thieves win step one and running through. It's so much cap time. He's not going to make it. He is going to easily seal off that round. Demos not close enough. Also, I think the shotgun coming out, uh, he was not able to reflect anything. 17 points onto silver. Nothing really happening in that round. Kill and frag wise. But finally, the cheeky strats all came uh, to fruition. Um, unfortunately for the Romanians, it is a tie of 1-1 one, one right now. But I gotta give it to the Russians finally getting creative with the strats that I predicted to them to do earlier. Yeah, getting getting some cheeky flanks in there. They certainly work well for them. However, now they got to do another mid fight to go through. Trading out Ayusti for Darky right at the start isn't probably going to make that much of a difference as the mid fight drags on. Matter of fact, it seems to be favoring it seems to be favoring the Romanians for the time being. Crisco and Dangerously Loaded for a while. Soldier bombs them, but the aggression on the other side is good enough. They clean up everybody and except Weiss Genie who is uh, Running for his life, trying to trying to just live right now. It's just he just kind of wants to get out of there. He went to the wrong neighborhood. He, he wants to get out of there. As I mean, you talk about possible. jumping soldiers, but Ruto had the funniest POV that you could ever hope for. He jumped through drop down and then just waddled about on the on the logo and not even on the logo, but on the ground itself. Didn't jump. Just had to three rockets, two rockets into the medic. The medic had to cross. Uh, over the point gets like pepper shot by a scout because he's 10 HP then gets a second like rocket onto another player and they completely wipe the floor there with the Russians because lack of players checking the corners checking behind Ruto basically completely uncontested sort of won that mid fight for his team and there's a sentry gun level 2 in secret the full uber is going to come out yeah there's no, no uber to respond with just yet for silver he's gonna get it actually it's a crits and it, it will pop as soon as that Uber is faded. Unfortunately for them, they don't find anything with the rockets at all. Silver gets cleaned up as well, and now they've got to, well, hold this as a demo-heavy combo below the point, and eventually they're going to lose that War of Attrition against healing and uh, just more numbers. Wise Genie putting down a lot of damage with Sano, but they can't kill anybody else, and it's going to be another quick round for the Romanians, making it 2-1. We've seen more rounds now in uh, 11 minutes than we did the entire last map. That's quite because... Tough. Chris and Entourage are also getting cheeky. They are reading the plays of the Russians and they are adopting them. I liked the crits usage. It was almost really good, but the problem was Tevi's pipe where Clean and Crisp killed the recipient of that crits charge. And further on, or further more even, we're on the fourth mid fight here. Let's see if people can control underneath areas. They do this time around. Ruto is completely caught. Also, Justi is trying to bomb forward. Misses a lot of rockets by the sheer sake of silver dodging. The skirmishes in the banana are still ringing about. It's only Chris who is completely oh, no. caught here. Completely caught. Senu once again perpetually oh, okay. so weak. Eponymous that he dies, but he gets the end result. The enemy medic went down. So it was sort of fractured, but it was a wipe, if you want to call it like that. Also 100% onto the Russians. Yep, yeah, that's that's the big deal here. They've got an Uber to work with and uh, no response out of the Romanians just yet. Chris just now starting to heal, starting to get their defenses set up. It doesn't even matter. The Russians love taking their time and for once they can afford to. They have at least a solid, well, let's say like 40 seconds here to get all everything situated, everything ready and good to go with this push. But the longer they take, the more time they give the Romanians to set up. They don't have that sentry in a great position, but they do have a level 3. And they pop very, very early into a river here to try and get some grounds early as well. And, well, they do. They get onto the point, they get the sentry down, they find a frag onto Tav at the very least, but they've already lost two on their own side. Soldier Scout going down, they find Ayusti as well. It doesn't matter because they just play the point. Uh, YC just walks on from behind and uh, caps that out. You have the fine commodity if you have an Uber and the enemy team doesn't, then you can sometimes squander it a little bit. I mean, they took some time and they flashed a lot of players, but the enemy team just didn't have anything to respond to this aggression. Also, the sentry gun got dealt by, and the point was a little bit like the view for the defensive team, obscured by the architecture, obviously, of the of the point. So they couldn't initially even get onto that since they were pushed into the spawn. And we're on a fifth mid fight right now, completely different change of pace. A Tevi is walking forward. Two picks were enough so they once again evacuate the premises on the Russians but they're getting further on Pepper. Seno again Ooh, caught, caught again. Oh he gets no an arrow. Oh, he does live for now. He... Oh Seno lived for so long. That was almost good. That was almost good. Chris does go down in the meantime though and there is a scramble to try and get silver but he is evasive. He's a little slippery eel. Nobody can quite get onto him. And it's only Yosef left on the Romanian side, even if they manage to cap off that second point. They've only delayed 
this Russian team a little bit. There's a full Uber waiting in the ranks with Silver, and they most certainly will want to use that. Well, not use that, ideally, obviously, to grab as much gun as possible, but if they have to, so be it. The Romanians are certainly not trying to, trying to be on the receiving end of it either. They're already on second, just biding their time, seeing what they can do here. Not very aggressive, though. Not really wanting to deny them any more ground. Yes, they may be trying to jump across, but Russia delaying their approaches through choke ever so slightly, just so nobody really gets caught, and they're going to secure a second off the back of that as well, as Romania is forced into last once more. Ruto taking double punishment there, double rockets from both soldiers. He did not fall, however, in the full Uber advantage push is going to come out. Christo will weak, 90% though, in his own bank, but a lot of cap time. Ruto is only going to walk onto the point right now. They are not fast enough. 97% onto Chris Demosh, too slow on the heavy weapon sky. You might think that initially if you pick the slowest class in the game, but you almost even done that. And that would be a completely different story since full Uber, heavy close range, easy cleanup, but as it stands, 3-2 to the Russians, pulling it back. Romanians crumbling on that sec away or even uh, sequencing onto that a second point and not fast enough. Um, just building up their own Uber. Justi is on this mid fight, uh, jumping below Ruto and Justi both on the low ground currently. I don't really see if that is a worthwhile strategy for them since there's a lot of, you know, initiation lacking, but Thieves dies, so I guess it works out in the end because okay. you get the frags. Yeah, you just bait the enemy soldiers into your team and clean them up, even if Rutu ends up going down as well. It, an unorthodox approach, but it seems to be working, as it's only Darky and Silver left, and the ladder is very, very low. That medic is uh, buying, wishing for his life here, running for his life as best he can, and he does escape. He meets up Crazy. with the respawning soldiers, somehow narrowly escaping, as the scout bought enough time, Darky keeping his medic in the game there. The MVP for real, making Crazy. that Mr. President go down and yeah, it, it worked out. The Russians actually hang onto their Uber here. They manage, or they will manage to hold second off the back of it as well. And it's going to be a little bit more of an uphill battle for Romania than they probably would have wanted to start with. Uh, Ruto completely sold in, in, in a Pluha week from this encounter, but does not die. Also, big. Spotlight there for Silver dodging is so much. I would have liked the Romanian scouts to at least have one medi uh, like one scout on the duty of pushing the enemy medic. I mean, one scout and a medic is enough, surely, to kill the enemy uh, scout, but they opted not to do so. This Uber, by the way, I'm not commenting on it. Why? Because nothing is going to happen of it. Yeah. Um, no one really dies. Who is going to assume this uh, top role? And they're timidly watching each other. 3 2 still in the favor of the Russians, but. In the ascendancy is currently Romania as they have the reps on that midpoint and no off classes since no one died. We have to see what they can cook up with the clear cut quickie cutter. They are rotating to big door. Yeah, not just that, but there's still about 14 minutes left on the clock as well, so plenty of time for other teams to make wor uh, work here. And Romania is going to opt to send an entire flank behind enemy lines. They just slip in through lobby. Thieves uh, is going to be met with a scout and a soldier soon. They don't have healing, which. Uh, Actually, the Russians do, but Darker Time trying to flank the flank won't happen either. And is it starting to pick apart this Russian team ever so slightly? The split aggression, this pincer maneuver seems to be doing quite a lot of work for them, even if Rutu and Yosef go low. Them just being there is enough, and it looks like uh, Tavi has magically found a pipe onto Silver and uh, taking care of that pesky medic on the Russian side as well. Uh, I just got in the corner of my eye. Couldn't really calm down it as it happens, but yep, uh, that's probably gonna give them quite a nice chance to get into last year on the side of Romania. Not sure what this positioning was, but it was not compromised at all since you have Mericulous pipes and going to pipe the enemy team. I think that was even a drop or close to that onto Silver as the full Uber is going to come in right now and it is going to be put into motion into great success mm. maybe as it's only Pluha and Seno on that last push. Uh, Silver is falling, but Chris and Tevi are the only real lone survivors. It's really Chris and he has to kill bind. So, failed last push. Why is, why is Genie putting down a monstrous amount of damage with the heavy there? Just mowing down the entirety of Romania that wasn't in the Uber. So by the time Chris and Tavi turn around and want to, you know, maybe meet up with the rest of their team, uh, oops, there's no team left. <laughs> they just, they just gotta uh, die for their troubles and a beautiful hold, beautiful hold by the Russians there. Basically off the back of the heavy play alone. Pulling Huge so much damage weight. onto Big Door and yeah, they're trying the to end. Insinuate that uh, we are strong enough to push the big door, but huge jump from Silver is going to get 
jump by the second soldier, <laughs> though by Justy is going to completely dodge Ruto and surf that out. Ducky Tame is still in the banana. He's not going to peel himself up there. No full wipe. Wise Genie coming in afterwards. It is going to be the round and the tie here for the Romanians if they play their cards right. And those cards are wonderful. Um, I mean, it is an ace and a king essentially, which is obviously not all that good uh, is initially, but I think they're going to make it with that hand dealt to them. 70%, it's 50% advantage. You see already dying. I think they might be able or ill-advised if they keep this momentum up since Tabby is so low and they can just <laughs> they can just use their uber advantage here to uh, further on pressure forward since Yusti will spawn in two seconds. Yeah, I appreciate the, the aggression they're trying to spawn camp, but it doesn't quite work when you don't have a medic backing you up as much and it just eventually falls apart. That being said, though, still sizable ad for the Romanians, and they are going to take that in through Shutter immediately. Try to take as much ground as they can. They have to do with that heavy again, though. They're aware of him this time, though. Lots of damage onto White Union immediately, but no cap time whatsoever. Finally, someone walks onto the point, but they're not finding any frags at all. It's only people on the Romanian side dying. I mean, okay, they found a couple, but they didn't find all of the frags they needed to, and... Has to clean up there. Chris is already running for his life. He's effectively dead as well, considering he's not healing anybody right now. And 9% isn't much to write home about, so... They will be able to hold on to mid, man, at least for a little bit, but... The Russians have an Uber of their own now, and that is certainly going to be keen to Huge keep jump safe. from Justy onto the second point, but it's not really going to achieve all that much. A uh, Ruto is going to be oh, the okay. second... Uh, like soldier, they always have this tandem of uh, soldiers uh, bombing in. It was only always the Troika of Doom as Justy does live, Yosef not living. But that Uber on the last was a complete car crash, honestly. I can't describe that in a better way. They rotated to left with their Uber, but the problem was there was only a scout and they were taking ages, ages to clean them up. And there was a heavy just sitting there and completely uh, not dealt with. And afterwards, the Russians, happy as ever, could rotate out of their own spawn, top right, with their full magazines up. And the enemy team, like the Romanians, emptied their claps onto the environment, onto nothing, basically. So they got completely easily flushed out and currently trying to control the perimeter since we are banking and knocking on below 10 minutes here. Justi is trying to initiate but he's a bit uh, perpetually shot too weak. Tevi is walking onto that point and they're giving it up for free. Uh, fair enough, they didn't quite have the Uber yet. They didn't want the smoke even if the Ubers were close. I can respect it again. Russia up a round. They can afford to concede a little bit of ground if it wins them the war. At the end of the day, they are up a round. They are in a weird way in control of the match for the sake of that and it's on Romania to make something happen they have to play more cleanly they have to actually make something of this happen and Yosef trying to go under and getting cleaned up and Rutuman probably okay does at least trade out for fees at the very very least here before getting killed himself but you know just just uh, not quite getting what they want with that one Russia ready for it that time and not letting that flank happen once more now with two players down Romania kind of on the back foot trying to hold on to this mid as well and you gotta respect the Russians for putting on the pressure. Sano once more left alone in Big Door as well, but it's not like he's feeling any pressure and... Ah, okay, Russia just just taking it easy, taking it nice and easy. As uh, once more, the, the ball is in Romania's court. They have to make something happen. They are down a round if they want any points at all out of this match for their group, for themselves in the group, to try and make playoffs off off. They do need at least one more round in this. Uh, to get something, to get the something going. in Big Door, they got spotted uh, for the time being and the Russians before tried to push that Big Door but it was sort of a void motion since nobody really was able to be caught. The Romanians right now taking all this space and as we vie forward further on, Tevi is lobbing the stickies over, Wise Genie controlling him with his scattergun shots a little bit. Um, not real any Subsequential damage is going to come off it and substantially that is going to mean another stalemate I mean at least something is happening because they're shooting their damage high up So we don't run the risk of being so low on damage as in process Senu takes a uh, sticky there on the ground is going to uh, Well leave with a tail between his legs. He's also a bit low on points I don't want to single him out once again and um, Tevi is definitely doing well for him only being second to his own medic, but um, I mean demos do make the damage, you know, you don't always get the frags and you don't always get the points, but finally something happened, Thieves died. Yeah, that could be an opening that Romania wants to abuse, they use these ah, prod and the choke as well already, seeing if he can maybe sneak something in. You've got the flank once more going around in the enemy base, unfortunately for them, there's no Russians to, uh, you know, 
backstab there in, in a way. I guess they could cut off thieves from the respawn. But that's that's really all they're positioned there for. And now they're missing in the team fight that might very well unfold soon. And they've already lost Rutu and uh, Yosef uh, just so uh, manages to avenge his friend there. But now he has to go up against another scout who most certainly cleans him up. So the flank not working out quite that well that time. Turns out when the Russians are holding a bit more aggressively, a bit more further forward, uh, it's not going to work as well because there's no, nobody's backs you can run into. They will still see you coming. At that point, uh, well, it's not quite... Nothing Nothing that they're throwing out there right now, the Romanians, is quite working for them. And they might just be willing to take a trade here sooner rather than later. I used to certainly primed and ready for it to have you meeting up with him as well. Chris eats a rocket trying to turn the corner, but for sure they will try to send something in here and uh, they lose their demo instead. Okay, this is a disaster already. Interesting focus fire by Pluha. I mean, he doesn't even focus alongside with his own scouts. Um, Justi, who tried to create the opening, usually is soldier suffers from the fact that he wants to create the space, but <laughs> they just uh, focused heavy because they realized uh, Justi is not any danger at all. He's going to leave through the drop down area and it is bizarre how this game has once more, um, well, adopted the sort of pace of process since I understand finally the push is going to come in, so I come to this thought in a bit. Um, the damage is going to get uber popped onto him and Justi is going to jump in into the river area but it is a longer uber onto wise genie he's going to pepper down tevi who is perpetually shot onto the low ground thieves and wise genie both falling down the romanians here in the ascendancy still some stickies to deal with aseno is still close but going to get probably shot apart no good so okay. he serves away from the two players but unfortunately there's a third one waiting for him it's bit of a nightmare but uh, quickly finishing my thought it is bizarre how inconsequential those single players going down like was earlier on but finally something happened and Romanians with equal percentages vying up to push the last point I have one more opportunity to make it happen here if they uh, mess this one up it, things might start looking a little dire in terms of time now it's starting to tick off and uh, every second that they're wasting is another round they're not putting on the board they're trying the sniper play onto last as well Yosef picking up the rifle once more seeing if he can make something happen they are aware of him by now on the Russian side and lots of aggression by Sano to try and lock down Riverside as well but is it enough to prevent the hero oh, shot oh, snap oh, oh, oh. <sighs> dangerous dangerous for the Russians there. Silver does avoid the bullet though and uh, Yosef getting flinched by Wise probably helped as well but that could have gone very differently very quickly if they had not had everything on lock for a minute there. Sentry gets taken down, it's not going to be in the equation for a while, maybe Soldier has the opportunity to bomb in but Romania needs to start making something happen. Demos does decide to go water and he's not going to be met with anybody Ruto. down there just yet. Mm. Ruto was in from the balcony and Justi tried to uh, make the enemy team shudder through that shutter area, but both were controlled quite well. But uh, Russians once more will not push out. It is an ever ongoing trend. Never mind. I want to give them this vibe, so they want to prove me wrong. Never mind. Going to back out once more. Uh, Pluha also in down and below, but low and behold, he's not going to find anything on the baby door on the lower lobby area. 100% onto both medics. We have a double sniper, one sniper on each team. And I was already ready for the hero tiger uh, or shot like just, or the last shot rather, sorry, through that uh, river area. He doesn't need a pyro class, you know, to play with fire. Tevi is finally, or even still, falling. I'm not biased at all, but Sano is dominating the enemy demo man. Oh. And he's going to get another one, a second domination, by the way. And that um. might pave the way for his team. They kind of got forced in lobby though. Silver kind of using their Rutu manages to slip in, get that force out of the medic and well, it's not like the Romanians are in great positions either, but they managed yeah, to forced. hold off the soldier. They have to force eventually, but at the very least they might, if they get lucky, they might be able to catch something else. Nah, you can't chase that, never mind. Demos is just going to go under. He's going to be in water and uh, Sano's already there to stick it off as well. So nobody's really going to slip into that one just yet, but hey, they're still in this. Romania still got players. They got positions. They got to get some cap time out of demos as well. You'll see there to follow up as well. Quite a lot of cap time. Yosef down below as well. Three players going water for this point. Unfortunately for him, he has to go through a lot here. And two soldiers is a lot to go through. Gets one, doesn't get the other. And uh, 
Yeah, Many okay. Romanian players get caught as well. Rutu can't make a miracle happen there. So you have for to now, deal with out. the enemy scout and a double scout, even which is the worst encounter for the uh, soldier. If you have ever seen one, Tevi Bolt is ever wants to charge forward. You're completely alone in the face of four players walking onto Seno, or maybe Tevi wants to get revenge onto Seno as Seno is the one who falls and uh, Silver left the vicinity once more alongside Wise the Genie. I really have to take myself aback to not make so many jokes with Wise, but quite decent decision from the Genie disappearing with his own medic. And Yosef is going to walk into the point. Blue are so weak as well. Going to get dealt with. The Uber is going to be popped responsively onto both of those sides. A lot of more flashes coming out onto the red populace. But the blue squad is still going to posture into the water area. I'm not sure if they're aware of it. Chris and Tevi onto that last point alongside with the scout. And they're still battling it out with a lot of deathmatch. But uh. it's not going to eventually be enough. Chris is again leaving. And Seno also dying. Demosh definitely has his medics back all sorts of ways. And manages to at least get him escorted out once more. Again, another opportunity, another Uber. Potentially the last one we're going to see for the Romanian side here. They have um, 90 seconds. 90 seconds to try and make something happen. Obviously, the round timer may very well end before then. But well, I guess we'll have to see how that overtime will tick for them. They do have a bit of cap time as well, so... They have to make something happen now. It's do or die time if they want a point tonight. If they want to take anything off of these Russian players. It is now that they have to do it. And Yosef and Yosti going down below. Seeing if they can make something happen already. Get some grounds there. They managed to trade out a soldier, I suppose. But that sentry is in such an aggressive position. And it gets rude to call out as well. Yosti managed oh, to get a dead, dead angle though. Okay, they managed to trade out for another soldier. They're, they're at least bleeding these players a little bit. But they have 30 seconds to get... On to that point, unless overtime starts ticking, and they have 40 seconds to end this round in any way, capacity whatsoever. So Russia are probably starting to feel like if they hold this, they've got it in the bag. And the Uber comes in for Romania, much later pop out of silver, obviously, as a defensive response. It's going to be once the Uber's fades, that's what decides how this goes. And they've got a heavy tanked up on that point as well. Five seconds, Joseph, down. He's on the point, he's going to run in through the water area, going to meet Shot Silver away, it's only Chris, it's only Ruto, not no. going not enough to make it, but really, I mean, Yusuf was almost the playmaker, they're almost the hero, double shots there onto the enemy medic, and then meat shots, crazy meat shot city going onto that defensive wise genie heavy, not eventually going to make it, but I know that some players maybe in the back lines are, you know, like playing bingo and I want to give them this opportunity. I was not able to get the quotes of my cat calendar out, but I'm going to segue that easily into um, one or two points that I still want to get across before we talk about locks. I mean, if someone wants to really achieve something, they will find a way. But as Russians, uh, when they don't want to do something like pushing out of last when you're 3-2 up, you will find not a way, but an excuse. Why? Because when you imagine or just picture in your eyes three minutes ago, Pluha had a wonderful pincer movement there in the river area where he crushed um, the enemy team who was completely cut off position. I know that they then forced them, like, for example, uh, the Blue Medic alongside with their scout, alongside with Demosh, I think that was, or no, uh, was that? I don't even know, but uh, like the, the scout. But then they just never made anything out of that. Okay, they win that round, but you see how once again, passive they played. Okay, they played right to their cards, but the Romanians had like one or two opportunities and I felt like they just never really were fast enough and they limited themselves to one last golden opportunity there. Like, you know, one push is obviously worse than maybe two potential pushes because you can account that even if you lose like two or three players, Russians probably won't push out because they don't have any reason to. So I don't want to be critical. We can talk about locks now <laughs> after I got that bingo chart locked off, uh, like <laughs> or scrapped off. But, you know, like if I were into Romanian shoes, I would have tried to get one or two more last pushes until the like four minutes have went, uh, like four minutes are until the um, round timer concludes because I'm pretty sure that Russians won't push out. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> if you have loaded the locks, uh, I have not, but I can do one or two predictions. I think Seno did way better for himself here. But oh, uh, I mean, correct. You're, in you're very end, much right. In, in the end, it was a close game, definitely here on Galiwash. But I mean, you can't sugarcoat it. Russians taking the full six points. Yeah, they, they had the edge at the end of the day, but it was close, both maps. I mean, process, even though it was 2-0, it was a 27-minute 0-0 zero, zero before anybody put a round on the board. The Romanians certainly put in the fight on. They Even if they lost both maps, they were not going down without a fight. And it shows on the logs as well. I mean, you got 
You got Tavia Justi pulling insane weight for their team. The, the experience really shows for these two, especially on that team. They are the most experienced players by far, and it shows. They finally got to shine a little bit, do a lot of damage. Tavi putting down the pain, but Sano finally getting into his element a little bit as well. Being able to actually, you know, pull the weight he's supposed to as a demo, making the damage happen that his team then cleans up, and uh, it just did a slightly better job cleaning it up. At the end of the day, that's what it boils down to. The Russians just having that edge, being able to clean up ever so slightly better. Even, even like, you can have all the damage in the world, and the side of the Romania, they, they did have all the damage in the world, but it didn't have the cleanup of it to go alongside it, and that is the problem. If you can't I... focus down the targets, you're not going to win. I appreciate your dialectic favor for me. I mean, Senu still does bottom frag, but uh, you correctly pointed out, and we both alluded to it during the round, you don't always get the kills on the demo. He got yeah. decent damage numbers. Also, Tevi and Yosef, um, or like just um, alongside Justi being experienced Romanian players, they even get six frags more, but they were never really able to convert it. The conversion rates mm. are not really seen here uh, back then we had a heat map but i don't I'm not sure if the plugin is still around but i would have uh, thought that uh, the russians probably had more last pushes obviously but um, the romanians sort of had this mentality of waiting for spawners and then pushing again and maybe they could have done it but it was really slim margins a quick peek onto the medic yeah. stats no drops this time around uh, chris with a bit fewer heals per minute also one crit creek charge by silver which was plucked to save uh, this defense but it was not all that savory for them since they were too late to stop it um yeah, but uh, Tevi top um, killing here after that. We have a Pluha and Wise Genie with 20 frags. After that also, Joseph with 20 frags. But again, I don't want to linger onto this because it's so arbitrary. It could have gone uh, either way all the time, and especially if they were able to uh, control choke points after they got forced themselves. But do you see anything memorable as well? Or otherwise, I would probably just... I mean, I would shut up either way, but um, do you see anything <laughs> memorable or otherwise? I think we're safe to wrap this up slowly. Yeah, it, it was just it was a close match. I think a, a few fights going Romania's way could have completely flipped Goliwash, and it could have been a three-two their way, right? It could have been uh, a tie just as easily as well. It's just a couple of things here and there, a couple of mistakes that don't happen, a couple of fights that go their their favor a little bit better. A last push they don't completely mishandle like the the one they did okay yeah but you know it, it 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 was very close if this is as close as it gets honestly putting up such a good fight even if you end up losing certainly still sets you up nicely now you got to go up against the other two teams in the in the group over the next few days or whenever the play days may happen i don't know if we're doing it on a weekly basis i don't quite know what the scheduling is for the nation's cup i'm assuming it uh, will be a weekly type of thing because uh, tf2 players hate having more than one match a week so it wouldn't surprise me, but yeah. For the time being, that is that is all that there really is to say about this one. I believe we have another match scheduled for tomorrow that will also be covered. Let me just look once more which one it is. It is France versus Norway, which uh, just just making predictions right now could be a bit of a zinger, depending on what Norwegian team we're looking at, because uh, there's some talent in Norway. There's obviously a lot of talent in France. But there's, uh, there's some talent in Norway, so depending on how they, they field this team, that could be, could be an interesting match. But yeah, that's all I have to say about that for the time being. So if you don't have any more closing words, Dom? No, I mean, I'm not going to back up. I said I will say <laughs> nothing more of substance. Some, some people might say I also did say nothing of the substance during the cast. But I mean, yeah. thanks for... Thanks for um, yeah, just having me here in, in this cast. It was a great show. And again, um, since... You gave me that last silver lining. Keep your eyes peeled here onto Essentials. We like to cast uh, 6 or 6 for you, and we definitely like to have you in the Twitch chat to see all those upcoming amazing games, especially with the nations clashing head to head here. But I was, am, and will be Domato. With me is Cerny, and John will be always producing silently in the background. You can't hear him. We can hear him, but we'll catch you next time. Until then. See ya.